Hello YouTube, Sidekick here with just a quick video to follow up on my last video about the uh, Nomads Iron Bombing Test Range. And it was pointed out to me that there might be some folks who are pretty new to DCS who haven't used the Mission Editor before who might not know uh, exactly how to replace the SU-25T in the Mission Editor uh, with a different plane. So this is just a quick video to show you how to do that. So if you're new to the Mission Editor, uh, this video is for you. If uh, if you're an old hand, uh, feel free to skip it. So the first thing you're going to want to do, obviously, from the main DCS screen is to uh, start the mission editor. Uh, once you start the mission editor, you'll be asked to pick a file. So you want to navigate to wherever you've stored the no mods iron bombing test range, and you'll want to select it. Okay, then you'll need to wait for the mission to load for a little while. But you get to listen to the uh, thrilling uh, DCS music while you do that. Okay, once it's loaded, now let's pull back a little bit here and go a little bit to the south. And we'll find Cavaletti. And there you'll see that we have the red A represents the uh, SU-25T that we already have placed in the mission. There it is. You can see the bar on the right now gives you the data about that plane. Okay, it's an SU-25T, the player can fly it. So we're going to add an A4E, we'll put it on one of the other ramp parking spots here. So to do that, we're going to find the button that looks like a plane on the left-hand side, which is the Add Plane button. You've got to check the country, because it will affect what planes are available. Select the, the plane that you want, and then you can add uh, change the data for the name of the pilot and the name of the group if you want to. Do make sure that you select client to make sure that uh, you'll be able to actually fly the aircraft. And once you have all of that uh, set up, then you just need to go and pick a spot where you're going to leave from. And what we're going to do is we're going to select one of the parking spots and then we're going to select it. Uh, over here we're going to go and say we want it to take off from ramp hot which means that we won't have to cold start, but we will start from the ramp. And then the last thing you're going to want to do is adjust the livery and the loadout. Um, up here, you just right click on these boxes and then select the weapons that you would like to be carrying. And we're going to arm ourselves with two Mark 82s on each of the inner wing pylons. And we're going to put four Mark 82s on the center pylon. And then we're just going to go down here to livery and uh, we're going to select the RCAF Voodoo livery because I think it's cool. And we're ready to go. Uh, and so I just wanted to take a look at one more quick thing before we uh, start the mission. Um, somebody else uh, had um, had a problem that they had started the mission and then nothing seemed to be happening and it turned out that well that was my fault uh, because you see here uh, in the triggers I have the mission set up to start in pause um, and I hadn't given the player a message uh, to the effect that that was true uh, I fixed that now um, so that shouldn't be a problem uh, the reason I do that is just because it doesn't matter so much when you start on the ground but if you start in the air sometimes it's nice to start pause so now we're starting the mission the one thing you're going to notice now is because we have planes, client planes from both different sides, you will actually be given the choice of whether you want to fly red or blue, and then that will affect, uh, obviously, which planes you can fly. We'll select blue. We'll select, uh, select our friend, the A4. And you'll see we start the mission, and now we get a message to the effect that it's paused, and the plane doesn't move until we press the space bar. But it does look good. And then once we press the space bar, the mission starts. All right, that's it for now. This is going to be Sidekick.